Hi everybody, I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna show you all how to make angel food cake. Here's what you will need. Of course, you will need fresh strawberries, okay? And you will need some type of Cool Whip, all right? And I like to use the angel food cake mix that comes in a box. You all that know me, anytime I go to make a cake, I love to use the box mix. You just mix it up. Always turns out perfect every single time. So the first thing that we're gonna do, make sure your hands are impeccably clean. And now I'm going to use my stand-up mixer today. If you all were to ask me, but Gina, I don't have a stand-up mixer. Do I have to use a stand-up mixer? No, you don't. You can mix this by hand. Or if you have one of the handheld mixers, you can use that. So let's go ahead and get started. We want to open up our cake mix. An angel food cake mix is a bit different than the other box cake mixes. Angel food cake mix doesn't call for eggs and oil or butter. Okay? All it calls for is water. Okay? Let's get all of that out just like so. And then we'll put our water in. Now this specific um, Betty Crocker mix it calls for one and one fourths cup of cold water and we're going to put just that in there let me make sure that this water is nice and level because you want to put the exact amount in beautiful we have one and one fourth cup put that in just like so and i want to put some almond extract in let's scoop my um strawberries aside and bring this forward so you all can see down into the mixer just like so and I'm also going to put my cool whip away until we're ready to use it that's going in the refrigerator so I like to put almond extract in mine I'm just going to eyeball it a little tiny bit more just like that <laughs> Usually when I use any type of extract, I always go overboard because I love the flavor of extract, especially vanilla and almond. All right, let's go ahead. We want to start this on low, okay? Okay, now we're going to use a tube pan today. Let me show you. It's highly suggested if you're making an angel food cake that you use a tube pan because angel food cakes puffs up so big it's not really suggested that you use a bunt pan because what can happen if you use a bunt pan um, your mix can actually overflow in the oven all right so if you're using a dark pan like I have make sure you cook yours on 325 degrees and make sure that you do not grease your pan all right, let's take a peek in at our beautiful mixture. All right, and then I want to take my rubber spatula and just make sure all of the sides are nice and well incorporated, even the bottom. So I'm kind of scraping the bottom to assure that everything's well incorporated. Now it's going to be kind of fluffy, kind of frothy. Okay, unlike a regular cake mix, all right? And that's absolutely going to happen. Okay, so we're just gonna mix this for another minute or two, and then our mix is complete. And you wanna keep it on low. I'll turn it up just, just a tad bit more. That's about it, that's about all you need. Make sure that you have your oven preheated. And then I'm gonna show you how I like to slice the strawberries for this dish. Our mix is done. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Just like so. Let's take this off. Okay. Get off what you can, because we want all of this beautiful goodness. Just like that. 
And then what we need to do is take this off of the mixer, scoot our mixer aside, and then you wanna put your mix down into your tube pan, just like so, okay? Be sure not to get it all over the middle tube that's in the middle. Kind of make it as neat as you can. Okay? And make sure that it's nice and even. If it's not even, you just kind of take your spatula just like this and smooth it around until you have an even look. I'm so excited for this recipe. I don't know when's the last time I had strawberry shortcake. And when I have it, this is how I make mine. Now, if I want a quick strawberry shortcake, hey, I'll go and purchase the Sara Lee frozen pound cake. <laughs> I do. And I'll slice that bad boy up, put me some strawberries and Cool Whip on there and call it a day. But this right here is how I really like to eat it. This right here is what really satisfies me. Today is Sunday, and I hope that you all are having a great day today. Absolutely, I do. If you all haven't had a chance, yesterday I did the video for... Um, sorry about the noise, everyone. Yesterday I did the video for... Um, Jamaican brown stewed chicken. If you all haven't seen that video yet, you might want to check it out because that recipe turned out so amazing and I want the world to see this video. But check it out if you haven't had a chance to. See how I'm kind of leveling it out? That's what you want. Okay? And then when we take this out of the oven, you're going to need to take a knife, a butter knife, and just go along the edge and around this part to release your cake. All right? So I feel like this is nice and level. My oven is beeping, letting me know that it's ready. Beautiful. Let's get this in the oven. When it comes out, I'll let you know exactly how long this took to cook. After you uh, smooth this out. You want to put this in the oven right away. So we're going to do just that and I'll be back. Okay everyone, let's cut our strawberries. I have washed these strawberries just in some cold water and drained them by paper towel. Okay, we're just going to want to cut the greens off just like so and we're not going to do slices. We're going to kind of do chunks. Okay, this is how I like to do mine. Just kind of chop it up. And I have a bowl here because we're gonna need to macerate our strawberries. All right, and it's very easy to do that and I'll show you how to do that once we get our strawberries cut. See, I like to cut them into a square, just like that. No slices when I'm thinking of strawberry shortcake. Just like this. Beautiful. I am so excited for this recipe. I don't know when's the last time I had it. And I'm gonna enjoy it today. As soon as this video's done, I'm gonna enjoy it. And then I'm gonna enjoy it once again for that one's, that one don't look too good. I'm going to enjoy it once again for dessert. And just by putting that almond extract in the cake mix is really going to give such a good flavor. That's what I'm really excited about. You can find Angel Food Cake um, in the box that is fat free as well. I didn't purchase the fat-free one, but I just wonder what it tastes like. It probably tastes the same. We're gonna continue this, just like so. 
I'm going to chop a few more and then I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, now I'm going to show you how to macerate the strawberries, not marinate. It's when it's fruit and you put sugar in it, it's called macerate. Um, what I like to do, I'm going to put some vanilla extract in here, okay? And now this will be just a tiny bit. And some of you might say, but how come you're not using the almond extract that you used in the cake? Because I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use some vanilla and not too much because this vanilla will go a long way in these strawberries, okay? That's, a, mm, that's about it. Beautiful. And then what you're going to do, put you some sugar in. How much? Just put you some in. Cover it up real good. All right? About like that. And then we're going to stir it around. And this right here is gonna make some beautiful strawberries that are nice and sweet and sour and they're just gonna have this beautiful juice. The sugar is gonna help to extract the natural juice that comes out of the strawberries and this is just gonna be amazing, you hear me? You put as much sugar as you want in yours, okay? Because that's what I did. All right, so then you just cover this with saran wrap, aluminum foil, whatever you may have. Put this in the refrigerator so it can macerate. And when I come back, I'll show you all of the beautiful juice that's in the bottom. Because you see, we have no juice at the bottom right now. But just wait. By the time that cake is done, all of those beautiful juices will be extracted from the strawberries. And we'll have a beautiful juice. Okay, everybody, look at our beautiful 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 angel food cake and this is what it's supposed to look like you're going to have that cracking it's going to be nice and beautifully golden brown here in about maybe five minutes we'll take a, a knife and we'll go across that edge and we'll go across this part as well okay so now when you all are making this like i said make sure you use this in a tube pan because guess what happens while this is in the oven? While this is in the oven, this thing, it, it bakes up this high. Seriously, it bakes up this high. And you're thinking, you're thinking the whole time, oh my goodness, like, oh my goodness, this thing is going to like overflow. But it doesn't, and it comes down. It does, you know, and so five minutes, we're gonna come Take a knife and go across here and there. We're going to set this on a cooling rack. And then I'm going to pull my beautiful stra uh, macerated strawberries out, show you what they look like, and I'm going to show you all how to make Strawberry Shortcake 101, Jeannie Young style. Okay, everybody, we've taken our angel food cake out of the pan. All right. And let me show you the strawberries. The strawberries haven't macerated as long as I would like for them to, if it was up to me. But since this is a video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the strawberries now. But if it was up to me, I'd macerate these strawberries for at least four hours. Okay, but let me show you during this short amount of time, which is around about 45 minutes, this is the nice, beautiful strawberry juice that I was speaking of. Oh yeah. And the more this sets, the strawberries will break down a little bit more and get even sweeter. See that? Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I have to go in and taste one of these, at least one. And then what I'm gonna do, mm, y'all can taste that. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, delicious. What I like to do, Let's go ahead and let our beautiful angel food cake cool down. We want it to cool completely down so that we can cut it. Because right now, this is a very soft cake, okay? And we don't want to tear it up cutting it. So give it a chance to cool down so we can cut down into it. And then I'll be back and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, everybody, I've cut my cake, and I'm going to be honest with you all. It was kind of hard taking my cake out of the pan. You know, they tell you not to grease the pan, but it sticks a little bit. And here's the thing. If you have a problem with your angel food cake coming out, 
and just let's just say it tears or something you can take this and you can chunk it up into cubes and use it that way absolutely you can let me show you what this beautiful cake looks like and look how nice and soft isn't it beautiful just beautiful right look at that my word and look how nice and beautiful and crispy on top okay so let's see i'll show you this as well isn't that beautiful just beautiful okay <clears throat> so i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to plate this i want it to look nice are we going to do it that way <laughs> are we going to do it this way what are we going to do here let's just get it on there right Woo! it's amazing let's see this is what I go through <laughs> every time I'm getting ready to do a video, but I actually have it on pause and I'm trying to decide how am I going to make my plate? <laughs> okay, this is it. Now let me show you. So our strawberries have soaked a little bit longer and you can start to see more and more of that strawberry syrup down in there. Oh, -wee. make sure you get a spoon that doesn't have holes in it, a ladle preferably, so that you can gather that beautiful syrup down in the bottom. And you just wanna put it on there. If you want it to for your guests, if you're serving different people, you can give them their strawberry sauce on the side if you want it to. Oh my word, you hear me? Now listen here. Mm, mm, mm. This right here, this is what satisfies me. Ooh, and that little puddle. Ooh, that little puddle right there, that juice. My word, you hear me? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, baby, you hear me? Mm, mm, mm. And this juice will just soak down into this beautiful angel food cake, just like so. Let me grab some juice alone. <clears throat> if you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes let's give this a taste I'm gonna let you all know what this tastes like God bless this meal Lord we thank you for today we thank you for blessing over our house and our family we pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper we thank you for the roof over our head and feeding us this meal. Amen. Let's totally dig in. Look at this. Oh. Woo! One more time. But not before. I like to take my Cool Whip out of the refrigerator at the last moment. Because I like for it to stay nice and cold. Watch this. I'm going to show you all how to eat it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, I just got started. I just got started, guys. Mm, taste you some. Enjoy this right here. Ooh, feed this to your family. Feed this to your lover. Feed this to your grandma, your dad, your mom, your sisters, your cousins, the church. Everybody, everybody will love you for this right here. You don't have to go out and buy that really thick strawberry sauce. You all know what I'm talking about? The kind of sauce that they sell in the produce section. Macerate your own strawberries. Make a light sauce. This right here is beautiful. I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. I'm going in guys. I can't, I can't, I can't take it any longer. I just cannot take it any longer. Ooh, give me a little bit of everything. Give me some of this. I mm, want you all to taste this and let me know what you think. Woo wee. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-mm. -hmm. That's what I'm wanting. Mmm. Mm-mm. Oh, look at this. Nothing like strawberries and Cool Whip together. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. 
The strawberries are so sweet. Mm. This cake is nice and beautiful and light. Oh my word, this right here is better. This is better than going out and buying pound cake and slapping the strawberries on top. Now, the original way of making a strawberry shortcake, they used to make it back in the days and some people still might do it. They use biscuits. Yes, they do, which is very interesting for me. But I don't choose to use the biscuits because I want something nice and sweet like the angel food cake. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Woo, it's good. This right here. This right here make you smack anybody. At least you'll want to feel like it. Mm, mm, mm. Give me another strawberry. Get on there, strawberry. Mm, that's a big bite. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And then once the angel food cake comes in contact with this beautiful sauce, it's a match made in heaven. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching. God bless. Have a great night. Good night.